Perhaps a little light fog as you head out the door in a few spots this morning. We've got reduced visibilities being reported in uh, Edinburgh, Harlingen, Brownsville. Also a little bit of reduction in visibility around the Port Isabel area this morning. So just slow it down. Keep those low beams on if you hit some of that. We're looking generally at just a few high clouds though on Satrad. The last remnants of rain and are not even visible anymore anywhere near us. And that'll be the case as we head through our day today. Yeah, we might pick up the stray shower, but most of the moisture is still a couple of days away from us, at least this kind of moisture that will set off any meaningful rain. Can't rule out that spot of a shower here or there, but most of us are going to be dry and most of us are going to hopefully continue to dry out from some uh, heavy rains in Cameron County. For the bus stop this morning, looking at mid to upper 70s and this afternoon, the mid to lower 90s as the kids are getting off and plenty of sunshine. Uh, Heat indexes today are probably going to be in the lower end of the 100s, so not unbearable for the heat index. Here's the latest on now Tropical Storm Francine. Winds 45 miles per hour and uh, is expected to continue to march on up further in the uh, Mississippi River area. Lots of flooding rain throughout much of the south expected to continue through today and on into tomorrow probably as well. Meanwhile, further out in the Atlantic, yeah, here's the coast of Africa. Not too far away, tropical depression number seven has formed. And if it does become a tropical storm like the Hurricane Center thinks it will, it'll be given the name Gordon. Not expected to really do much over the next several days, just something we'll continue to keep an eye on. Couple of uh, tropical waves heading towards the Caribbean, low chances of them developing over the next seven days. Little better chance of this area here off the southeast coast of developing an area of low pressure there. We'll continue to keep an eye on it as it kind of drifts a little bit towards the north and northwest over the next several days. It'll be more of a weather maker for them. For us, plenty of sunshine in store for the day today. Temperatures well into the 90s, probably pushing close to 100 degrees for a high in some areas around La Jolla and uh, Star County. Mid 90s for the Mid Valley, lower 90s for the lower valley for our highs today. And if you're heading to the beach, not too bad. We're seeing a great deal of improvement out there now. Seas two to four feet, a light chop expected on the bay. We'll continue on our dry side today and tomorrow. Then maybe an isolated shower or two starts to pop back in on Saturday. It's going to be Sunday into Monday when all the ingredients come together a little bit better to give us a more scattered rain shower activity. And then we'll dry things out again. But for Friday night football and our game of the week. The kickoff forecast is looking mighty fine for Bogus Stadium where Edinburgh Vela will be traveling to take on the Harlingen Cardinals. Temperatures just below 90 degrees at kickoff.